almost forgot that. Let's say, you know, these, this buck keeps working and you're alone. And gee, one day, let's see, the wind is from the south, you know, in this direction. And you think, gee, this is a good place. I can I'm crosswind and I can watch this area here. It's kind of a grassy open here. And I'll watch that area. Good place. But before I go out there, I'm going to take 10 containers, like film casters, with me, uh, with cotton in them, soaked with dough and estrus lursa. Just soak them, close them up, put them in a plastic bag when I'm carrying them, seal the bag, you know, a Ziploc. And what I'm going to do there, you know, it, when I'm going to get out, it probably be better to do it in the afternoon, in the morning, because uh, in the morning, the deer is already there, but let's say you go there in the afternoon, and uh, you might even come in on this highland. And what you can do, you know, there's brush and trees in this area as well, too, but what I would do in a case like that, I would put open and put a film caster down 10 paces apart, every 10 paces, all the way across here, like that. Well, not there, but let's say starting here. And that's not too far. Uh, that might be too far to shoot a deer. You might not even see him. Maybe you start way over here. You might not even see him. But I've done this enough in the old days to know that normally when a, when a buck goes to a film capture like that, and he, he smells more coming from this way. You know, they're spreading out. And you'll go there and, oh, there's no door around here, and is that this smell coming on? I'm going to go over there, and yeah, I, I've seen more bucks. I got photos of, of uh, I, videos of them doing it, going from canister to canister. They just keep going along that line. Now, if I'm sitting here, you know, my spread, my my scent is spreading out that way. Well, if I'm so I go in there and I just make a quick deal. Don't mess around. <laughs> Move right along, just real steady, you know, without hardly stopping. Just put it down there, put it down there, just keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, and then get to your stand slam. Soon, because you never know. Now, if there's a buck in there, all this stuff has got a huge area that's going to be covered with that scent. Any bucks in there that smell that, they're going to go there. If it gets over way out here where you can't even see them, or so brushy, you just get a glimpse and glimpse. Don't worry, because once they get there, the odds that are going to end up where you can shoot them, like say in this area, are excellent. Now, a better place to sit than here, to make sure this stuff doesn't get where this goes, it'd be down here, you know, uh, so that you don't have any drifting into this area of your set. So if you get straight crosswind. Now your wind is blowing here, I mean this way. No, it's blowing here. I'm sorry, it's blowing this direction and you're here. And the old days we used to sit there and we'd put these casters out in front of your tree stand and down, well on the downwind side we'd have them spread out here and your set would be all over this area. And nowadays this, that just doesn't work. But here if you got it separate and you don't have to, like I say, you don't have to see all of the canisters. But eventually that deer is going to end up here where you can see them and shoot them. And your scent is not going there, it's going this way. Your, your crosswind of your scent caster instead of uh, upwind of your crosswind. So your scent is not spoiling, is not, you know, uh, mixing up with that all that scent coming from your canisters over this way. So these canisters pull in deer from a great distance, big wide area from the south, uh, downwind. And these canisters pull the deer over to within easy shooting range. And that today is the best way to use Doan Estes Lure Set. It doesn't have to be canisters. You can buy these little things that hang in the little tree branches low. You only get a dozen of those and just keep hanging them as you go. But this is the way we did it in the old days. So, crosswind setup. You know, you're sitting there, 
your sense going on. Yeah, all well, these any bucks down here sure are going to smell you. But boy, look at all this. And any of that are in there are going to go up there, and the odds are they're going to end up here, and you're going to get the buck. And you probably might see several of them in the process, well, depending on when you do this. But that's the way to use lure scent today. But anytime your scent goes where your lure scent goes, you might see a you, a couple of yearling bucks coming to it, but no big bucks. No, not today. This way to do it today. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Another nitty gritty. So now I suppose you're all anxious to do this. Well, you're going to like what happens if you do. That's enough for today. Uh, with that, be sure to chat, poke that red button down there, that subscribe button. And I appreciate that. It's important to me. And also the thumbs up button. Poke that if you. If you liked what you heard today, and I can't imagine you didn't, so that's no big deal, that doesn't, you know, but it's big to me. So do that, guys, and get your book shown. Don't waste a whole year and then two weeks or a week before the ice thing get your book. It, you, there's so much in there, you just aren't going to make head or tail out of it before the season starts, and you're going to have another season this year like you had last year, if, you do, if that's the case. So if you want to get ready for a good season this year and get your pre-hunt preparation in the woods done and all the scouting you need to be able to do this and get a stool. <laughs> that you, you need some time for that. That takes a while to get ready for really good buck hunting like this. So do that. And uh, with that, thanks again for watching and I'll see you again soon. Be sure to visit my website. Here's the link. Here you'll find links to my blog posts, my Twitter account, my YouTube account, my Amazon store with links to my ebooks. My son's eBay store, a money saver if you're ordering from Canada or other countries. My website bookstore and much more.